I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just got this piano in and finished up on the uh, refurbishing. It, it needed almost nothing. This, this is a uh, Yamaha U1, which if you've seen any other videos on my channel, you know that uh, I'm a big fan of Yamaha U1s. Yamaha claims that they're the number one best-selling piano of all time, and for good reason. They're super solid. I've, I've uh, tuned hundreds of them over the years, and they're just there are awesome pianos. There's a, there's a great reason that they're so beloved. So the U series is Yamaha's highest series. They have, they have different tiers, the Yamaha, and they've, had, they've actually also had different tiers over the years. That they, like, I don't know if they are still manufacturing the T series, for example, that was kind of the lower one. The P series is, is more of an institutional. It's not quite as good as the, as the U series, like the U1, the U3. And, uh, and then the B series is kind of, again, sort of their, sort of their, lower, their lower tier uh, model or, or series, I guess. But anyway, the U is the best. And this particular U is, a, I believe, is a 2011, it's, it's, which, which for in, in piano years, that's like nothing, uh, being you know, only a decade old. And furthermore, it, it, like, like I mentioned a minute ago, it needed almost nothing. But what it did need, like a cleaning, you know, pianos get dusty no matter what. You know, we, we took care of all of that. And so for a piano that is basically new, this piano was like unused. You can look at that. that it's just in perfect condition. If you know what you're looking at, what you see, like what I see, is perfection. We do a lot of a lot of U1s, anywhere from every once in a while we'll we'll do one that's from the '60s, from the late '60s generally, but more often like 19 in the 1970s somewhere between maybe 1970 and 1980. Uh, those are pretty common. Actually, why don't I show you this one? This one we, we refinished, just, just to give you context for what you just saw there. This one is a 1970, and it's also, also a U1. We did refinish this one in this satin finish here. Um, to give you context, you know, it's, still, it's still really good, um, but uh, but just comparatively, it's you know it's just a little bit older and looking, things looking a little bit dingy, I guess. Versus this one is perfection. So, so my feeling is my my hope anyway is that this piano is. Uh, like a, if you want a top quality Yamaha, and a lot of people do, Yamaha is probably the most common piano that people come in looking for. I want a Yamaha. And sometimes I'll, if, I'll, I'll convince people or, or at least they're willing to at least entertain other possibilities. And sometimes people will, will play other pianos and they'll be like, oh yeah, I actually like this one better. I think my taste is more I, is more towards I, I like the high loon tone or, or or something like that, or or other people they'll they'll try others and they'll say yeah I actually really like this better but it's always been my dream to own a Yamaha so I'm still going to get a Yamaha whatever that's that's fine with me, uh, but I and and then there are also other people that say nope I won't try anything it has to be a Yamaha so anyway. If you are a Yamaha fan, regardless of which of those categories you fall into, this one hopefully would be a no-brainer because it's basically brand new. It, uh, and yet several thousand dollars cheaper than what an actual brand new Yamaha U1 would be. So uh, yeah, hopefully no-brainer. Let's listen to it.
course it has this middle pedal as well. So you can play quietly for neighbors or for children that are sleeping. It makes a huge difference. Or if you want to play late at night. See, that's a huge difference. Okay, anyway. Uh, big fan. This piano, it uh, is going to last forever. Great piano, and I would say worth every penny. And and where you're several thousand dollars cheaper than a than a brand new piano, um, and you're getting the same thing, 99.9% .9 of what you'd be getting with a, with one that is actually brand new. It's a really really good choice. Thanks for watching.